Pastor Ezekiel Odero sat in the dock today, the 4th of May 2023, before the hearing of his case on suspected murder, aiding, suicide, abduction, radicalization, crimes against humanity, child cruelty, fraud, and money laundering at the Shanzu Law Courts in Mombasa. Prosecutors accused Odero of links to cut leader Paul McKenzie, who is in custody and facing terrorism charges over the deaths of more than 100 people, and many of them were children. Mackenzie, the head of the Good News International Church, is a alleged to have incited his followers to starve to death in order to meet Jesus in a case that has deeply shocked Kenyans. And joining me to have this conversation is our very own reporter who has been covering the same, James Othiambo. Good evening. Are you able to hear me? Yes, good evening, Betty. I can hear you pretty well. To kick start with this conversation, James, you could tell us Pastor Ezekiel has been released today. On what grounds and at what terms? Thank you, Betty. So, Pastor Ezekiel was arrested on the 27th of April on Thursday and he was facing various charges, including murder, money laundering, abduction, crime against humanity, and many more. And uh, today, uh, Betty. He was released on a bond of 3 million or a cash bill of 1.5 million. So uh, the, the terms of his release are he should be reporting to the police station once a week, Betty, and uh, the time to which uh, they will agree upon, right? And also uh, he is also barred from commenting on the Shakahola massacre, the ongoing saga currently, yes, Betty. Thank you so much. And maybe because you have been going through the same, you could also tell us and paint for us a picture some of these charges that he was linked to and just give us further information on the same. But as I've mentioned, um, Pastor Odero was uh, charged with uh, abduction, crime against humanity, money laundering, murder, uh, child cruelty. And uh, th those were some of the charges that... Uh, well, he, he was facing Betty, and uh, uh, we, we, he had a very strong legal team that helped him to to go through the cases. And uh, yeah, uh, what we saw today, the court releasing him on bond. Yeah. Maybe you could also tell us what of Pastor Mackenzie, because he's the main culprit of the Shaka holidays. What is happening on his end so far? But we've not had so much on Pastor Mackenzie's side. Remember the other day, uh, immediately he was just released. He, go, he was rearrested. And uh, fresh charges, he's going to face fresh charges. Uh, that, that is what we are currently waiting for. And uh, yeah, Betty, we've not had much from him currently. And what are people saying? What do they make of this? issues and what are the, some of the political addresses that have been addressed um okay betty um people have been really sympathizing with pastor odero and uh, we saw throughout the court process his supporters his followers uh paraded outside the court <clears throat> singing praises songs of praises just uh to so that the man of god can be let free and uh, it's not only his followers Surely uh, the social media, like people, people are really sympathizing with him. Maybe uh, the, the court, uh, and also people, there are some speculations that uh, he had links with top government officials, uh, maybe that uh, made the court to make the ruling. But so far, Betty, um, Pastor Ezekiel has a mass following and... Uh, uh, until the investigations are over, uh, we, we will get to uh, get to the root of the matter, Betty. Yes, and now thank you so much for that detailed answer. When do we expect to see Pastor Ezekiel Odero to appear again in court? And maybe you could also further elaborate on the terms that he was given after he was bailed out. Uh, okay, Betty. Um, Pastor Ezekiel today when he was being released on the bail, on bail terms, um, the, the investigations are still ongoing. Remember earlier the, the, the police wanted the court to detain him for 30 more days as the investigations are ongoing, uh, which uh, 
the, the court was unable to grant them. And so the investigations are ongoing, Betty, and uh, until the investigations are done, that is when we shall see uh, Pastor Ezekiel Odero again, maybe going back to court. Uh, the terms, Betty, as I mentioned earlier, uh, he should go, uh, he should visit the police station once a week, and uh, he, he is barred from commenting on any, any, uh, on anything on the matters of Shakahola ma massacre, Betty. Thank you, thank you so much for the insights and shedding some light on that. And here at GBS News and I, we will keep tabs and give you a report on the same, even as the process is continuing.